Tesekular. Tesekular. Teshe. Tesh. Tesekular. Tesekular. I'm gonna whip it full Turkish. We're late. Oh my god, this thing has a handbrake. For sure, we're doing some drifts. Usually, we're really busy on these trips, but uh. Bro, you're gonna disrespect me like that in front of camera? But sometimes we actually have time to have some fun. Recently, we've been to Turkey. We've done a lot there, and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. I think they have like speed cameras on these actually. Is that dirt dinosaur I said? Four waters. Üstü kalsın. Senin için. Senin için ederim. Ne demek? Dude, he was, he's like, I don't have any change though. I was like, keep the rest. He's like, he looked happy. Thank you so much. We are actually on our way to Belgin's shipyard. This is our first attempted tour at Mega Yacht. Take a look at Tatiana, which is the yacht we will be touring. We are far from Corpus Christi right now, Mikey. Very far from Corpus We're Christi. Very far. Wow, look at this, man. Wow. We finally made something cool happen. I've been on a lot of boats in my life, but I've never been on a boat like this. I'm really looking forward to it. What, you, what about you, Dell? Uh, are they gonna let me take this thing for a spin? Hard no. Dell can't fly a Mavic Mini without crashing it. We're gonna fly this here drone over this here yacht. Should be able to get some really good shots of it. It's mind boggling. Like it's crazy. I've never been in anything like this. Once you step inside, you forget that you're on water. Huge thanks to Bilgin Yachts. They really went out of their way to make this video should happen. We're grateful, we're so excited. I hope it turns out good and I hope you all like it. And if you do, just let us know in the comment section, we'll find more yachts. And on Tatiana, we met the chef, we met the captain, cool people, a lot of fun. <laughs> My name is Alex, I'm uh, from Corfu, Greece. What are you cooking right now? I'm cooking some steaks, pepper steaks, uh, with potatoes and mushrooms. Can we stay for lunch? Absolutely, be my guest. All crew, all crew, departure in 25 to 5 minutes. Please get ready for departure. I've been um, a professional captain now for 18 years. I've been in the yachting industry for 24. Could you kind of just tell us what a couple of these controls are? There's, there's so many. So what we have here is the latest uh, technology available on the market today. She's powered by two MTU 4000 series main engines. What's one of the scarier parts about driving in a storm? Well, the first thing is you don't aim to be in a storm. Of course, Dell comes through with these genius questions. Seriously, Mikey, we gotta keep an eye on Dell, always. If we get waves crashing over the bow, then I've done something wrong. That's a great point. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, kidding aside, the whole team worked really hard on these shoots. We got all the shots we needed, but let's just say some of us may have enjoyed Tatiana a little bit more than we did. Now, what kind of shot are you getting? Uh, this is a lifestyle shot. Our first yacht, straight up from $100 million. Isn't that crazy? That's insane. It's insane. How was it over the last few days just shooting this yacht, seeing the shipyard? Tell people, like, wasn't this crazy? It was, it was wild. We rode on tenders to shoot the yacht, got to tour a shipyard that was bigger than any factory I'd ever seen before. I had no idea that's how these ships were built. It's just fascinating to see these yachts. Their scale are just unbelievable. Again, 263 foot in length. And it really makes me appreciate the amount of work that goes into these yachts. I mean. I know Mikey doesn't look the most enthusiastic right now because the man Merhaba. has been working. Merhaba. There you go. Del, throw your Merhaba in there too. Merhaba. I'm teaching these guys how to speak Turkish. I mean, Merhaba. we have cultural mixes, a lot's going on in this trip, you know? Really important context about Turkish people. Their tea time is everything for them. And when they hear that sound, you better know that they're heading somewhere important to grab their teas. Dal always tells me, oh, I love exploring cultures. When this boy saw the tea hour, he lost his stuff. He's like, I want tea, I wanna hang out with the workers. He borderline got out of control, honestly. That shipyard was something else, the scale, how many projects they're working on, how many people they have over there. It was really awesome for us to kind of appreciate the yachting world and how these big vessels get built. My name is Berke. I am the commercial director of Bilgin Yachts. We had so much fun with NS and his team. I'm sure that we will meet again pretty soon in Monaco show 
and then in the future we will tour more and more larger mega yachts with them. Stay tuned. When we were in Istanbul, we actually had a chance to tour some incredible properties. As some of you may know, I like fat cats. They had a big fat cat there. See, these like the most friendly cat I've ever seen. Look at this. Did you see the dog with the, with the tongue sticking out? I was like those. For audio, for video, clap. Fix that mic. We're in Istanbul, baby. I haven't been back home for almost four years. So I miss the food a lot. So when we were in Istanbul, I was like, we gotta eat anything that's possible. I wanna put everything in my mouth. The issue was, these suits I wear already are kinda tight. I feel like a kid in a candy store. Show us around, like how cool this spot is. We came to this awesome breakfast spot that I found online. It's like really small opening from the street on a tight street. But once you go in, it has this awesome patio space. So in Turkey, this traditional breakfast works in a way where you get a spread. So you get all this stuff like cheese, jams, olives, all that good stuff. But it's shared by the amount of people that's on the table. So since we're at three, we're getting spread for three. I haven't had this in like three, three and a half years, so. Let's dig in. Let's dig in. This is actually owned by Salt Bay, so Dal, roll a little Salt Bay clip right there. So this is his like signature salad apparently. Looks pretty darn good. This dessert here, is my childhood. Oh my god. Yes. I have to go with the yogurt drink. I um, It's like the national Turkish drink, you know? Yeah, I was gonna say, you brushed over that yogurt drink. <laughs> yeah, like, <laughs> with that smile. <laughs> That's how you know you'd properly drink this thing. And of course, being from Turkey, having these guys in my home country, I had to give them the local tour. Abi Türkiye Ünal Turan'ın gençleriyiz abi Parzetki ekibinden. Selam Ünal Turan. Kebab restaurant. They are out of gyros. We'll make it up. Let's go. Mikey out here. When this boy is hungry, he kind of loses a little bit of conscience. He was having a hard time understanding the menu. You have a, a Whopper? I've been to 53 countries and I've never seen a language like Turkish. We have pide, which is like Turkish pizza, I guess. Like a pizzone? Can you imagine one guy saying Pazon here? You've been to 53 countries? Yeah. You really did? Yeah. That's insane. I may not have understood that menu, but I definitely know how to find my way around a town. You got any uh, food wrecks around here? Cool. Thanks. So here's the thing. Turkey is really famous for street animals. Animals that are just like chilling, relaxing. And since everybody feeds them because everybody loves pets out here, they just live a good life. Look at this cat over here underneath this uh, mall shopping uh, parking lot. Another piece of trivia, in Turkey, tea is never served mixed. So you kind of have this top part where it has the kind of intense tea flavor. So you pour a little bit of this, like that much. Oh man, this thing is hot. Then, put this away, get the bottom pot. This is hot. So they call it rabbit's blood because you have to nail that color, which is this right here. So that's what I'm talking about. There's more? Yeah. <laughs> this is gonna be like tightly packed in here. Alright, that's it for the turkey vlog. I hope you guys liked it. Uh, it was a fun trip. It got a little messy, got a little serious, but at the end of the day, we made it happen. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give us a like. If you have other vlog suggestions, leave us a comment down below. And at this point, guys, make sure to subscribe. Now we're almost done with this shoot. I'm super hungry. I'm gonna go get some dinner and see you guys next week.